Okay, we're back in video number two on pulling a vacuum on a 50 pound refrigerant container. We have the Blue Vac Pro, the Plus Pro, and I have it linked up to the iPad right here. Over time, we're going to datagraph the drop. Over here, I have the field piece, and then the field piece we have right here. We're going to data log that is Bluetooth. Going down to that pad there, let's get it started. And we're going to use the field piece 10 CFM vacuum pump going through the three quarter inch silicone vacuum rated hose, going up to the manifold to each of the ports, but we're only gonna use one. And I actually went over to the one that has the valve cord depressor. So we're gonna make this video three times. This is the valve cord depressor. And I don't know if you can see it there, that's the valve core depressor. And we are going to be pulling, let's see if I can make Google focus on that. Come on, Google, you can do it. Come on, you crap piece of phone. Well, Google doesn't want to, I mean, not Google, Apple doesn't want to focus. And um, so this is what's restricting your vacuum and your refrigerant flow that's located in the end of your refrigerant hoses. And this is what I have in here right now. So we're gonna pull through that and we're gonna see how long it takes. And we're also measuring the tank. So this is connected to the tank, but the micron gauge for the field piece, the sensor is located in the manifold right here. So we're having two micron gauges that I'll be reading. So let's do this. Let's turn it on. In a minute. We'll see this finally kick in once it gets low enough. As you can see, the vacuum is going down. It'll take a minute. When this gets down far enough into 29, it'll finally register on here. And so that's what we're waiting for, is this to kick down, as you can see. This still says high because the vacuum is still too high. It's not uh, under vacuum enough. And as you can see, this takes a really long time. So you could look at the time meter at the graft and figure out the time from when I plugged it in, how long it takes to pull the vacuum. Even though we have a three quarter hose here, we're going and we're using a refrigerant hose, which is right here. And we're coming down and we're going through a refrigerant hose that still has that valve core depressor inside of it. Okay, dismiss. We're still waiting. Now, this is the limitation of analog gauges. 29 inches of uh, mercury, but with the digital gauges, you could go down to the 29.9. But then after you get past 29.9, you start, you're, we're getting into microns and we'll be able to be able to read microns pretty soon. But since this is a 50 pound container, this will take a little while. You can see, there it goes. It's just starting to read something right now. Our container is now in the 20,000 micron region. And our micron sensor located inside the field piece is just got below the 2000 micron region you see the big difference the micron reading right here is right next to where the vacuum is being pulled right here so it's a completely different reading here than it is here see we're in the 10,000 region right now that is the vacuum of the tank so there's a big difference between the vacuum in the system compared to the vacuum in the hose. Because remember, our source of our vacuum is our blue hose. And our blue hose is located right here on the manifold. The source for our micron gauge reading right here is the micron sensor located in this manifold right here. And then the vacuum is drawn from the tank right here. So it's reading the vacuum inside here. It is not reading the vacuum in the tank right now because it's hooked up to the vacuum pump. If you see right here, 
we're 5,500, and it reads all the way down to the tenths. And we come back up here, that's not 5,000, so you see the disparity between the two. So let's get back here, and you can see it's grafting, it's reading right here. And where is my graft? Linear. There we go. Why log? How about by log? I don't know why my graft is missing here. It's showing over here. Let's graft over here. You can see it's starting right there. And it should have been doing the same thing right there, and I don't know why it's not. Okay. It's showing our reading right here. Is this reading right here? This is in the gauge this is in the tank. Do you see the difference? This is why you do not use refrigerant gauges, well, especially while it's under vacuum, to determine what your vacuum is in your system. Because this is the system where this is connected right here and it goes down to a tube that goes down into the tank. It's reading the true vacuum inside the system. This is reading the vacuum inside the gauges. A huge difference and I actually don't know why this is not grafting right now remember this is brand new I just set it up right now and I'm having a uh, a grafting reading problem for some reason right now I'm gonna have to figure that out on the next video sorry guys but uh, something just doesn't want to uh, read like normal but we at least get a graft and we would be seeing the exact same thing over here, but at a higher rate. So this one is at 700 microns because that's back inside the gauge. This is the true reading inside your system. This would be your car right now, and this is what it would be. So someone would might say, oh, this is approaching being really good, but the vacuum pump is on. This vacuum reading means nothing. It's your standing vacuum decay test what actually means whether it's clean or dry so we're gonna let this go on see how long it takes for this to get roughly now getting to 500 microns means absolutely nothing because if you shut the system off and let it do the va uh, vacuum decay when you stop at 500 microns it's gonna go quite a bit above 500 I will show you that and then it will let this continue on lower and see that you'll have to get somewhere around 100 or 200 microns so when you shut off the system it raises and vacuum decays back up to around 500 microns this is going to take a while let's not watch grass grow or paint dry we'll get on to the next video what i think is video number three in this series remember the field piece this is the 10 uh, cfm vp x7 this is the blue vac pro plus and here we got the field piece with the job link software. This is the software for the Blueback. The software are all free when you buy the units because it's the only way for it to work is to work with the unit that it was developed to work with or the software. And we have our field piece and we'll come back to this. All right guys, I'll see you. And as you can see, we're approaching 500 microns here.